Hey, what's going on? It's Jeremy Watson here. I wanted to make this quick video because I was looking I was looking everywhere on the internet and I couldn't find really a solid answer about how to do this. So when I figured it out, I figured I might as well make a video. But here's the scenario. I have a client uh, that were moving their entire website from uh, WordPress to Shopify. We built the entire website on Shopify and now they want to cancel their hosting. But the problem is, is that uh, their emails are all on their cPanel for their hosting. So we basically decided to go with G Suite. And um, because we went with G Suite, uh, we have to point the DNS and stuff over to G Suite so we can actually uh, manage the emails through G Suite and they know that uh, that's where the emails are supposed to go. Uh, but since SiteGround doesn't actually have a way to um, uh, point the DNS once you park the domain to another uh, to another place, basically I had to point the DNS to Cloudflare or point the name ser servers to Cloudflare, and then from Cloudflare edit the DNS to make sure that G Suite and stuff like that um, all the records are in there. But then I had a problem because their emails are in cPanel and they want to make sure they can back up their emails to their new G Suite accounts. So I couldn't find a solid answer about how to actually transfer your cPanel emails to Gmail. So when I finally figured it out, it was like 2 a.m. and I decided, let me do this again so I can make a video about it. So here's what I did. Um, so they have this email address. There's actually three email addresses that I'm doing. Um, this is all their emails. This is a bunch of them. Um, and I need to transfer them so they can have these copies in, the, or in their new email address. So you can see over here, there's only 10. These are all the emails from today once the uh, DNS records and MX records updated so they can start getting emails in G Suite. So. What I found out is that you can actually export these as an inbox file and you can import the inbox file into Gmail or G Suite using um, Mozilla Thunderbird. So there's a couple of things that you need to do to in order to get this to work. Um, if we pull up their site, so this is their website, Thunderbird, is from Mozilla, people that make Firefox. Um, it's to manage emails. It's kind of like Outlook uh, if you haven't ever used it before. So you download this, but then there's this add-on called Import Export Tools for Thunderbird. And this is what I use to actually import the emails, the inbox file that uh, I exported from cPanel. So I basically exported this from cPanel. It's downloaded down here. And then uh, I downloaded the uh, this tool so I could import the inbox file to Gmail uh, or G Suite. So if I pull up their email, um, there's a couple things you got to do. So first things first, I got to um, show this in folder and extract it to a place where I know. All right, so I put the file on my desktop in a folder by itself so I can find it. So what I did was once you pull up um, Thunderbird and you install the add-on so to install the add-on uh, there's tutorials about how to do that um, you have to go to like local folders and right click and you have to import inbox file so then it says choose the import way and then import directly one or more inbox files so I click this and it's going to pull up all my um, folders and stuff like that so I go to uh, desktop find the folder where I put it and then I renamed it a inbox the reason I did that is because every single time you export from uh, cPanel from the inbox is going to name it inbox inbox and when you upload it to Thunderbird you're going to have a bunch of different inbox files so this is just the way I distinguish it so once it's here you have to let it load. Like it looks like it's done, but it's not. It has to actually uh, produce all these emails. So give it like 
two minutes and then once it's uh, done fully we can go to the next step which is importing it into the inbox all right so it's been a couple minutes I just want to check um, so this inbox has 207 messages in it if I pull up Thunderbird down here in the bottom you'll see that it says uh, 210 uh, for this a dot inbox um, so that's basically right I don't know where the extra three emails are coming from what you do from here is you go to the new inbox inbox folder that you just uh, add it to your local folders you click on an email and then you cr press control a to select all and then once you select all the emails you just kinda wanna make sure that all of them are selected then you right click in this area and you go copy to and you go and make sure this is very important make sure that you copy it to the right email address um, so this is for Annette and you go to inbox and what you do from here is you click and wait so if I just pull it up right quick um, you'll see we got 11 emails in here now um, if we just wait a second refresh this see we got 24 now 29 31 33 35 so this will go and go and go until it's done um, the cool part is it saves the dates and stuff that you receive the emails but it doesn't save the read emails um, it doesn't know if you read them or not uh, which is kind of annoying but I mean at least you got your emails um, from my understanding that this does import all the attachments and stuff as well for your emails like you can see that there's invoices and stuff in these that are attached so uh, we could definitely um, just keep using like this strategy to import the scent and import um, maybe the favorites and stuff like that uh, from the cPanel emails so that's really it I just wanted to show how I did it um, there's software that does this but since I'm doing the site for pretty much free I just decided not to buy the software um, and do this because this is pretty easy once you've done it once or twice so now I just kind of wait because this kind of does take a while if you have like hundreds of emails this does take a good minute to go I had a thousand emails last night and that took over like an hour and a half for it to finish so with that being said um, if you like this if it helped just leave a thumbs up let me know uh, and I'll make more videos when I can